to start with, you want to cast on 13 stitches. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to knit back and forth every row um, until I have 11 ridges. And what I mean by ridges is um, you get a ridge when you knit back and forth one time it'll create a ridge. So I'll show you guys what I mean. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 11, 12, 13. Um, so let me grab the other one I made and I'll show you what I mean by ridges. So when you're knitting, you get these little squiggly bumps here. These are your ridges. So if you pull it apart, you'll notice you have kind of the space in between. So when you knit back and forth, you'll get a ridge. And so that's what I mean by ridges. So this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. The 11th one's hiding under here. Um, so you want to make your piece just knit back and forth every row until you count 11 ridges. ridges with the right side facing. So I'll pause the camera and then I'll come back to you guys once I have those 11 ridges. All right guys, so I'm back. Um, I've done my 11 ridges. I don't know if you can see that. This might not have been the best color to do this in, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So now I'm gonna start on the right sleeve so to do that, I have to cast on seven stitches. And so to cast on stitches, I'm just going to knit one. And then take the stitch I knit and put it on my left hand needle. So that's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. and seven. So now you'll have the two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen that you had and you should have seven more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now what we need to do is knit all the way back to the very end of this row. Okay, so I've knit all the way back down to the end of this row. Now I need to cast on the stitches for the other sleeve. And so to do that, I need to turn my work so the back side's facing. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side that I did over here. I'm going to cast on seven stitches. So 
That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I never realized how hard it was to knit looking through a camera lens and not at my hands. <laughs> Let me get myself some more slack here. Okay, so I cast it on seven more stitches from either sleeve. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. I'm just going to knit all the way back to the very end of all my stitches. Okay, so now we have what looks like our Christmas sweater. We've got the body and we've done both sleeves. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to knit for another four rows or so or another two ridges and then I'll come back and show you guys how to bind off your sweater. Okay guys, I'm back. So I've done my additional four rows or two ridges. Now there's your sweater. I wanted to come back and show you how to bind off. So to do that you're going to knit your first stitch. My camera will focus. Then you knit the second stitch. And you don't want to bind off super tight or it'll get all kind of bunched and puckered. You want to bind off kind of loose. And you're going to pass the first stitch over the one you just knitted. So I'll do that again. You knit your next stitch. Take the first stitch and pull it over and off. And you're just going to do that all the way across the top of your sweater. I think you guys get how to do that. I'll put you on pause and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay everybody, so there it is. My little tiny ugly Christmas sweater ornament. So now all I have to do is take a tapestry needle and weave my ends in. And then, like I said before, you can decorate this any, any way you want to. You could put um, little Christmas jingle bells. You could attach them on there. You could crochet something like um, a star or a snowman or reindeer. You could really do anything with these. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, let me know. And happy knitting!